it looks like this. <laughs> Except without the water. Um, and so there was really nothing to do but the power of television. In my generation, I turned on the Johnny Carson show, and here's this guy in a flashy suit, Doc Severinsen, playing, and I thought, like, wow, that's cool. Then to find out he's from Oregon, it was even cooler, right? So I started, I got the horn, I played piano from age six to nine, and then nine, I started playing the trumpet. And by the time I was in sixth grade, or the middle of sixth grade, I was just better than the other kids because they hadn't started yet, right? So I had a year and a half up on them. And I think that, that ego, in a good way of ego, takes over. So uh, when you realize at the point in your life that you're not going to become Michael Jordan, what do you do, right? How do you define yourself through high school or grade school so you're not just a, an idiot, right? And I thought, I'm, I'm pretty good at the trumpet. And all the other kids were struggling along with it, and I'm doing okay. And then when I was 12, I heard Miles Davis, and I just went bang, like that. So in like a couple of measures of him playing My Funny Valentine, I was just mesmerized. I, because till then, it was Maynard Ferguson and, and, and Doc, and the, the kind of the, the, the way that they project the instrument with all that joy is amazing. But then to hear Miles go, take it to the super intimate, moody, brooding thing that was kind of all out of time and weird, and I just, I, I loved it. And so I thought to myself, I, I, at that point, I want to be a trumpet player, and I, I wasn't going to ever give myself something to fall back on. And that's another thing, because when I meet a kid, I can ask them one question, what kind of music do you like? If the kid says, I like all kinds of music, I'll say, you're not going to be a musician. But if the kid says, I love Metallica, or I love... Led Zeppelin, or I love Dave Cause, or whatever it is, that passion ignited through one singular, singular kind of approach is that, then I, I think that kid's got something. But the kind of like, I love everything and everything's great, it's just, you're not going to be a, a musician, because to be a musician, you got to be nuts. Basically, <laughs> it's true. Joni Mitchell says, to be a musician is 1% talent and 99% drive, and that's all it is. If you have, if you're driven and you can figure out and focus your drive in the pop, you know, in the right way, then you got a shot at music. Because I've met seriously some amazing saxophonists and trumpet players and pianists and composers and all these people that that don't have a career at all, you know. And I have a great career, and I kind of look and go, what's the one difference? Well, they, you know, they they decided to do other things. They moved to Indianapolis after college and raised a family, and that's their choice. And it's fantastic. And I'm a psychopath that goes on the road for three hundred days a year. So. <laughs> 300 days a year he's on the road, actually, Dave. Well, three, not 300 shows. It's right. 300 days. Including, you know, the yeah. travel days. So yes. away from home, 300 days a year, yeah. So but still. What kind of a life is that? Awesome. 